welcome students in the online organic chemistry lecture series of uh, this topic carbohydrates and uh, today here we are going to study the last point of your topic carbohydrates and that is known as a glycoside it is very uh, simple part that uh, i will explain in a simple language <clears throat> you just remember that the glycosides are naturally occurring carbohydrates okay now we have studied in more details about what are carbohydrates their classification their reactions and uh, <clears throat> their various forms etc but in nature the carbohydrates are occurred in the form of glycosides i will say uh, so monosaccharides monosaccharides are observed in plants i can say animals okay in the form of in the form of glycosides okay now <clears throat> before going to uh, explain about this glycoside i will draw over here the two structure and you tell me the difference between the two structures okay so i will draw here two structures and let me know the difference between these two structure okay so h o h then uh, o h o h h h o h h and here is c h 2 o h this is one of the structure then i will draw another structure okay you tell me the difference between these two structures so h o r o h h h o h o h h h and c h 2 o h now these are the two structures in front of you <coughs> you know this uh, the name of this compound is uh, alpha d glucopyranose it is the pyranose form of glucose right it is a pyranose form of glucose and alpha because this oh is on the uh, downward side of this have or ring so it is alpha d glucopyranose form right now you see here the major difference between these two structure the all two structures are same except uh, only this the oh group which is attached to the anomeric carbon you know this is anomeric carbon so here the anomeric carbon is attached to the hydroxy group here anomeric carbon is attached to the o and r group now this r can be anything oh. so r it can be it can be any group i can say any group so this is alpha d glucopyranose and this is the glycoside of glycopyranoside i can say this is the glycopyranoside of this d glucose so the difference is only at oh group which is present to anomeric carbon here it is oh group here it is or group now when we hydroly hydrolysis this uh, glycopyranoside uh, if we do the hydrolysis of this in presence of acid or in presence of enzyme Now you know hydrolysis means addition of water molecule, okay? So if you do the hydrolysis of this glycopyranoside, then we get this structure. Now you will understand what is glycoside very easily. See here, OH, 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 H, H, OH, H, H, and CH two OH, okay? और फिर ये मिलेगा ओके सो आफ्टर हाइड्रोलिसिस ऑफ दिस ग्लाइकोपायरोनोसाइड वी गेट टू पार्ट्स नाउ दिस पार्ट इज अ शुगर पार्ट यू नो दिस इज अ शुगर पार्ट एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस शुगर इज यू नो इट इज अल्फा डी ग्लूकोपायरोनोस फॉर्म एंड दिस इज अ नॉन शुगर पार्ट ओके ये नॉन शुगर पार्ट है और इसको जनरली अ ग्लाइकोन कहते हैं सो नॉन शुगर पार्ट ऑफ दिस ग्लाइकोसाइड इज नोन एज अ ग्लाइकोन ठीक है 
तो आफ्टर हाइड्रोलिसिस ऑफ दिस ग्लाइको पायरेनोसाइड वी गेट टू पार्ट वन इज शुगर पार्ट एंड अनादर वन इज अ नॉन शुगर पार्ट ओके द शुगर पार्ट इज अ इट कैन बी अ शुगर लाइक मोनोसेकेराइड लाइक डी ग्लूकोज डी फ्रोक्टोज एटसेट्रा and the non sugar part is having at least one hydroxy group remember and that is a non sugar part and it is also known as a glycon so what are glycosides now i will explain now remember glycosides are the natural organic substances remember what i am saying very carefully glycosides are the natural organic compounds or substances which on acid and enzymatic hydrolysis gives a two part one part is a sugar part and another part is a non sugar part okay and that non sugar part is known as a glycon and the sugar part is the monosaccharide it can be d glucose d fructose and etc so this is about the glycosides so what are glycosides these are the derivatives of monosaccharide monosaccharides i can say so glycosides are the derivatives of monosaccharides so where is the change the change is only at the hydroxy group which is attached to anomeric carbon there is the only change all other rest of the molecule is the same there is no difference in the structure of rest of the molecule so this is the glycosides now we'll see some more details about these glycosides i will draw here few examples of the glycosides derived from uh, glucose and fructose so i will draw over here the haworth form okay so h o c s 3 o h h h o h o h h h c s 2 o h so this is the glycoside derived from the Uh, d glucose and the name of this glycoside is uh, methyl alpha d glucopyranoside remember gluco pyranoside okay then i will draw another example of uh, glycoside derived from fructose okay so you know if we uh, draw the structure of the fr fructose then uh, here is a ch2oh group o ch3 oh h Now see this is the pyranoside which is derived from the d fructose. Therefore, the name of this pyranoside is methyl alpha d fructo pyranoside. Okay. So these are the two examples of uh, this glycosides. Remember, there is only difference at the hydroxy group which is attached to this anomeric carbon. okay so these are the examples now how the names are given that we will see how the names are given okay so you just have to remember that o s e of sugar is replaced by o s i d e okay so that means if it is uh, sugar is glucose then its glycoside will be glucoside okay if the sugar is fructose then its uh, glycoside will be fructoside if it is pyranose then it is pyranoside if it is furanose then it is 
behavior on our sides. So in this way, we can give the names to the uh, glycosides. Now let's see some few uh, points regarding the glycosides. Uh, the important point is that they are soluble in water. Soluble in water and generally a sugar part is soluble in water and non-sugar part is not soluble in water. Remember non-sugar part that is a glycon is soluble in organic solvent. Again uh, they are optically active compounds they are optically active compounds okay uh, many plant they found in plants and generally they found in the plant seeds bark okay roots flowers etc okay so these are the main resources where uh, glycosides are found they are non reducing they are non reducing and hence they will not react with filling solution they will not reduce filling solution because there is no free OH group present at anomeric carbon now few examples of natural glycosides we will see natural glycosides okay uh, one of the example is salicine okay so this salicine on hydrolysis gives beta d glucose this is sugar part and non sugar part is salicyl alcohol salicyl alcohol in another example of natural glycoside is indican this indican on hydrolysis again it will give a beta d glucose and the non sugar component here is 3 hydroxy indole okay so this is all about the glycosides as per your syllabus of uh, topic carbohydrates this much part is sufficient actually this uh, part is very vast so we can uh, go in detail about this part again but uh, this much is sufficient for your uh, bsc examination uh, based on the topic carbohydrates so uh, we'll stop here in this video and uh, we'll meet in the next video with new concept or new topic so carbohydrates uh, syllabus is here completed so have a nice day. Thank you.